hot dang. Never shop when you're hungry. Oh my goodness, these plums look so good. Four pounds though. Are you having a laugh, mate? I will plant my own tree and grow them myself, but they do look good. Hello beautiful people, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on another video. It is episode two of the new Dr. Sarah Try series, a series where I try a load of new stuff, stuff that some of you might want to try, stuff that you might be curious about, and we just see how it goes, because if you're not learning new things, then are you really living them? In today's video, as you can see by the title, we are doing a food shop. However, it's not just any old food shop. It is a food shop for which I've had to remortgage the house, take out three new credit cards and uh, five loans. <laughs> just kidding. But I am going shopping at Waitrose, a slightly more upstream supermarket, which I've never shopped at, aside from picking up the odd bottle of like lemonade from, because at uni, it was the shop closest to my friend's house. Moving along. Then when I mentioned in my video about how to save money on healthy food, I realised that I'd never tried doing a full-on food shop at Waitrose, and it is one of the most popular supermarkets in the UK. A lot of people shop there, and they must think it's worth it. My best friend shops there, and she will not shop anywhere else. So I thought it was about time that I actually tried it, that I stopped being such a cheap skin to and found out if Waitrose was worth the money. I'm just going to do my normal food shop, stuff that I would buy from Aldi and Asda, which is where I usually shop. And we'll see if Waitrose changes the game. You never know, you guys, it could convert me. I could suddenly be like, oh my goodness, this is all absolutely worth it and I've been wrong this whole time. So yeah, Waitrose, what are you saying? Let's go. Let's go spend some money, people. More money than we should. Okay, so I actually have no idea where my nearest Waitrose is. <laughs> I can tell you the nearest five Aldis. I can tell you their location, but as to the nearest waitress, I have no idea. So I'm just going to quickly Google it. Thank you, Google. This might be a very millennial thing to say, but honestly, how did people manage back in the days when they had to use like maps and stuff? Like I just would never have gone anywhere. Absolutely not. Anyway, let's drive. And we are here. I love the fact that you don't need a pound for the trolleys because I literally always forget a pound so thank you for trusting me waitress. I do really need some plant food so I think I'll get some miracle growth because I've been meaning to get those for ages. This is a food shop and like a general life shop. So pretty. So much fruit. Yes, I love it. This stuff isn't that expensive you guys. These grapes say that they are aromatic, rich and intensely sweet. And I'm loath to believe them, so I'm gonna get some grapes. Let's see if they're telling me the truth. Okay, so the spring onions are like slightly more than I would expect, but that's like a decent amount. That's a big bunch. Salad onions. Let's get those. Oh my goodness, these plums look so good. Four pounds though. Are you having a laugh, mate? I will plant my own tree and grow them myself, but they do look good. Bananas are reduced. I'm guessing it's because they're quite ripe to £1.59 and I do need some bananas so I'm gonna grab the least ripe looking bunch. I can't lie, I'm getting a lot of weird looks uh, for vlogging but that is to be expected and I am a blonde black girl in the middle of South Wales speaking to a camera in Waitrose but we're gonna power through. Okay, okay. They have so <laughs> much gluten-free and kind of like alternative foods here. I'm gonna try gluten-free spinach gnocchi. That looks kind of good to be honest, in a sick and twisted way. All these different types of milk as well. They've got goat's milk, they've got lactose free, they've got almond, they've got cashew, they've got coconut. Wow, that is a wide range. And they've got Ness Quick. My dreams of my childhood. Waitress kind of does their own brand foods, and if their coffee is good, then I could be convinced, so let's find out. Well-known fact that Nescafe Azira is my favorite brand of coffee, and this is actually cheaper than it is in Asda, because it's on sale, so I'm gonna stock up. Who would have thought? I know the price of this coffee very well, and this is cheaper, so I'm just gonna stock up casually. And then there's the Waitrose brand, which to be completely honest, I don't want to try, um, but I'm not gonna be a snob. I'm gonna try it and see, see what happens. Price is right, not too bad. Like super cheap. Look how cheap those biscuits are. You guys, I think I might have been wrong about Waitrose. Another very telling test will be whether the hazelnut chocolate spread tastes anything like Nutella. So we will find out. 
Okay, so I feel like the chicken fillets are more expensive because in Aldi they're like £5 per kg or £5.50 whereas that is a little bit more but not too bad. Look how cute these mugs are. I need this mug. That is a fine mug. Ah oh, crap, I'm getting mugs aren't I? Okay, so I'm done with the food shop. It came up to like 90 quid. And I honestly can't tell you how that happened because I was so prepared to be like Winchos is super affordable. I've been lied to all this time. I've had a really wrong impression of it. Um, and I am hungry right now so I may have gone overboard and bought more than I needed. I don't know. I just wasn't expecting it to be £90. I was thinking maybe that's like a £65 shop. It was £90. Also I kind of lost my love when someone who I think was like an assistant manager came up to me and was like like came up behind me and was like excuse me why are you filming and I was like oh, I was like terrified I said I think I said I just really like the mugs or something weird and creepy like that and she was like oh okay you know it was just just you know that someone said there's a girl with a camera going around and thought that was a bit weird <laughs> So, you know, just wanted to check it out, but that's fine. And then she like walked away and left me. Um, and I just felt so awkward. Now I know that that's probably not a waitress thing. I mean, maybe it's even a good sign about waitress that if there is a creepy person walking around with the camera, that they will say something. So positive or negative, you make up your mind. But it made me feel really uncomfortable. I kind of stopped filming after that. I just felt, it wasn't even like I was filming people. I was literally just filming items that I was picking up. So I don't know why that would have been an issue. Um, like I don't think you'll see any people in my video. I'm very careful not to film people. It made me feel super awkward and uncomfortable. I didn't really want to be there anymore because I felt like everyone was watching me, including the staff. I understand that, you know, that could be a me problem. And the lady at checkout was super lovely. But yeah, let's get home and I'll show you what I bought. I'm absolutely starving. So we will be taste trying some of these foods as well. Okay, okay. Okay guys, I'm back. And before I put everything away in the fridge, let me show you what I bought. First of all, let's start with this receipt. Hot dang. Never shop when you're hungry. £91.40, as you can see, which was not my plan. And honestly, this doesn't even feel like a full food shop. I got some gluten-free spinach gnocchi. I was just really curious to try. I've never had that before. I do eat gluten, but I was curious. Then I also got £3.50. I did not know that was £3.50. It is a happy new home card for my sister and brother-in-law to say congratulations because they just bought a house. But hot dang, they could buy another house if they return this to the shop. And then, <laughs> just kidding, love you Kimber and Dad, congrats, very happy for you. <sighs> then I got this sauce, some fake news Nutella. I got a load of tortelli. I do not know why, they just had such cool flavours. So I've got some chicken and treats so in here. I've got some rich four cheese carbonara sauce. I've got some grapes, which I opened in the car on the way back. And can I just say, they're not lying when they say they are intensely sweet. These are delicious. These grapes are delicious. Some free range pork mints. Got a pizza, which I don't usually buy, but it just looked so incredibly delicious. To be honest, it's a wood fried pumpkin porchetta and sage pesto sourdough pizza. I had to buy this. It's that kind of year where I'll buy anything that says it's got pumpkin in it. I've got some tortilla wraps, some coriander, lemongrass, some spring onions, some plums, which I haven't yet tried, but I will taste test. Some rice, jasmine rice, some pomegranate seeds, crab and crayfish ravioli. I had to try this, you guys. Just look at it. Looks so good. Some blueberries. Sweet potato chips, ginger for my Chrissy Teigen recipe. I was really hungry, you guys. <laughs> I've never had this before, but I'm excited to find out. Some pumpkin and pine nut fiorelli. It is the season to be overcharged for pumpkin containing products. And chicken stock cubes. And then because I was so hungry, I just wanted something instant. And I was really curious to find out whether 
Wait shows Asian food tastes like real Asian food because you know the difference between when you go to a restaurant, Thai food, Japanese food, and it tastes so good, and then you buy the one in the supermarket that you make at home and it just tastes like plastic. Um, so I got some Singapore noodles to see if those would be any good. And for some reason, I also got some lamb kofta meze, which I don't even like. I don't even like this, but it just looks so good on the packet. So I got some Mediterranean food, some Nescafe Azira coffee, because honestly, if the house was on fire, I would grab this then my phone sea salt flakes okay i did buy quite a lot of stuff i did not see this getting out of hand some aubergine tomato siciliana sauce two kitchen rolls lactose free milk which i love waitrose coffee which better not let me down skimmed lactose free milk i use the semi skimmed one for coffee i use this one for porridge and cereal and all the other stuff the miracle grow because lord knows my plants seem to need it mug which i didn't need but look at it it's even the wrong shape i don't like this shape mug but just look at that dip dye that is a solid mug dip dye. Oh, maybe I'll try the coffee in this mug. More coffee because it was a good price. <laughs> Bananas. And I think that is it. One last thing that I want to do. Number one, put all the fridge stuff in the fridge because <laughs> I could not be having 91 pounds of food going off. Number two is to taste the essentials. We'll just start right here with the pomegranate seeds. They can be hit and miss, but I do love them. I'm not even going to get... <laughs> you were gonna get a spoon because I can't be asked just this one this is the benefit of living alone no one can tell me off for being disgusting okay one sec mmm those are good those are good oh man you know you can feel the bougie taking over I think I'm gonna start shopping at Waitrose those are good Aldi ones honestly they can taste like ass sometimes but these are mm. oh crap that would not worth it. Plums. I'm very excited to try these plums. Let's go wash this and find out. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I'm just choking on a pomegranate. I'll start with the blueberries and see how those taste. Ah. Those are a little bit tangy. That one's good though. Do you know what? I think blueberries just are hit and miss. Like you can have a perfect pack of blueberries and there will always be one little bugger in there who wants to ruin your day. Next up is the plum. That is a hearty plum. The skin is a bit tangy, but there is enough flesh that I just don't care. Let's try this coffee. It's not like the powdered ones of the Nescafe that I love so much, but I'm not gonna judge it on that. That's not that bad. I would, if that was in the staff room at work, I wouldn't be angry about it. Last but not least, we will be comparing Nutella with Waitrose Hazelnut Spread. I'm yet to find a comparable hazelnut spread that actually tastes as good as Nutella. But you never know. Today could be the day. Today, oh no. It's already the wrong texture. Just the wrong texture. You know, I know my Nutella, and that is not a nutella -y texture, but let's go. It's, it's all right. It's good. It's good, you know. It's hazelnut spread. It is hazelnut spread, but it's not Nutella. It's just not Nutella, really. For overall shopping experience, that is how I enjoyed the actual shop, I'd give a 7.5 out of 10. I love the fact that there was parking. I love the fact they don't make you put a pound in for the trolleys because I never have a pound. Who even uses cash these days? It's 2018. It didn't like blow my mind though. I wonder when supermarkets are going to start doing really nice indoors. Do you ever think that? Like all supermarkets kind of look the same, but why can't supermarkets be edgy like coffee shops, you know? Price wise, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. While I was pleasantly surprised to find that normal brands were normal prices at Waitrose, if not like 20p more here and there, but it wasn't particularly cheap either. In terms of the quality of the products, their fruit so far is a winner for me. All of their fruit does what it says on the tin. It's not like Aldi where you buy the fruit and then you suffer the consequences. I'd give the quality of their food an 8.55. I think that is good quality. I feel really open-minded now that a cheap, bougie gal like me has actually given Waitrose a chance. And that concludes Dr. Sarah Tries Waitrose. I hope that you've enjoyed coming shopping with me. I love a good food shop because I really love food. Have I got Nutella in my teeth? I feel like I've got Nutella in my teeth. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment letting me know what else you want me to try. And don't forget to click subscribe for more videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.